Epic offers a game and recently two games for free each week. How do they get away with it? Well, first of all, they don't. They have to pay the game developers to make them sell their games for free. So the devs do have a say in this. Epic is losing $330 million on this investment as well as other exclusive games, but it's actually benefiting them. You see, before Fortnite, most players had a huge library on Steam. Now, Epic is catching up. With free games like Among Us and GTA, players are using Epic more and more. Plus, exclusive games like Rocket League and Fortnite make it so that you're forced to play on Epic. They even lowered their profit margins of in-game purchases to 12% compared to Steam's 30. Even though most players will continue to be free to play, around 95%, the 5% of players who do spend money in the store are the reason why they give out freebies. Over time, the ones who do spend money will keep on doing so. So this means that you get free games, Epic gets new customers, and the ones who pay is only changing the platform in which they are on. Epic has an impressive 56 million monthly users as of December 2020, and it's much closer compared to Steam's 120 million. Through September 2019, they linked 5 million new accounts, meaning it spent $2.37 per new account. That's crazy, because those new accounts can spend money here instead of their Steam store. Look at the numbers on this chart. 108 million Epic Game Store customers. $700 million spent. That's just big money just from free, cheaper, and exclusive games. We know that Steam is actually seeing competition. Steam even said that they'll take down games if they are cheaper on other launchers, especially Epic. Because Steam has more than double the users as Epic, game developers are forced to make a hard choice. But at least there's more competition, which is always better than just Steam. This improves you and I at the end of the day, and that's all that matters to me at least. Unless Steam does something like Epic, I think Epic will eventually catch up. Most players don't care where the game is launched from, unless they have all their friends and games in that launcher. But for new players, they will most likely stick with Epic because of the cheaper games. Why would Epic invest so much? It's clearly working and they will keep on doing it until they don't see any more improvements, which I'm really happy about.